Hi everybody, it's Alex Sinis and today we're gonna review the Babola Pure Drive but we're gonna do it in a different way. This racket has been out since a couple of times so today we're gonna do yes a review but also an investigation. We're gonna discover why this racket is the most sold racket throughout the entire world and how that many players found this racket to be the best option on the market right now. So come with me on this investigation and let's go. So this racket is a classic uh, since the early 2000. Um, this is actually the eighth generation if I'm right. Um, this racket has just some classic specs, but you know, let me go through this if you don't already know. So this is a 100 square inch head size with a 16 by 19 string pattern and you have an unstrung weight of 300 gram. The balance of this racket is 7 point head line. So if I'm taking the balance point, it's a bit towards the end all because it's a headlight racket. The feature of this racket are uh, power and power, okay? So that's why this racket is so popular, but the main question that I have in my head because I've already tried this version, the previous version, all the other version, but is my question is, um, how so many people found it so interesting and at different level like from pro to beginner so let's find out before we are adding the cord let me go through the string that i have for this review so it's selling cool tour bite 16l at 54 pounds and let's talk a bit about the cosmetic i'm a huge fan of this cosmetic i like pretty much every pure drive cosmetic uh, but yeah, this is one of the best. I really like the different shade of blue. So yeah, it looks great. Now let's go on the court to find out why it's the best selling racket on the market. Let's go. All right, with the Babble Up Pure Drive on the court, uh, I was really surprised about how the racket feels. Uh, yes, it's a powerful racket, but it has something different. And that's the reason why this racket is so popular. The stiffness of this racket creates the whole feeling. And honestly, I think I like it. Like, I feel like this racket is pretty good for a touch, for volley, uh, for power shot. Um, obviously, you know, it's not the best for spin. Um, was pretty easier to hit flat shot uh, all the time. But yeah, other than that, uh, a really good racket and yeah for sure i can understand why for example a beginner can take it and love it but also a, a pro player can take it and love it so yeah just a classic feeling i felt like when i was uh, at the baseline i could just rip the ball uh, through the court and would uh, land in um, the launch angle was a bit tough to adapt first but after that it was pretty easy for serve um, it's pretty good for flat for slice for kick uh i had no issue at all um you know i think it's one of the best racket for my surf personally so really love to hit flat serve with this one was helping me uh, helping me a lot with the the flat serve the speed was there and yeah didn't felt any lack of of control with this one because of the stiffness so that's pretty good so yeah the Babola Pure Drive is a classic and I can understand why. Um, it's mainly due to the stiffness of the racket. So when you're hitting the ball, you feel that with the different uh, stiffness, it's a really stiff racket, uh, the feeling is completely different. You feel the ball very differently when it's in uh, the string bed. So for that reason, I think it makes all the difference and that's why you have pro player that loves this racket and you have beginner that loves this racket because you had the easy power for the beginner but you also had that control due to the stiffness that the pros love so overall yes a solid racket this racket doesn't have any big flaws uh, what i mean by that is normally you know powerful racket like the you know like a pure drive would lack a lot of touch a lot of control but because of the stiffness the racket has a lot of control and also a lot of touch so that makes all the difference the only thing that for me is lacking a bit is the spin 
but I mean, you know, Babola has the Babola Aero for that, so it's not a real problem, a real issue. Now let's go to the LX rating. So I would rate this racket pretty high because of that. I would give this racket uh, 8.23 uh, out of 10. So that's it for the video. Hope you have liked it. Thanks to Racketville for giving me this demo. Without them, it would not have been possible. See you next time. Bye-bye.